Hey everybody, Mike here. Wanted to go over this DeWalt Orbital Sander with you today. This is model number DCW210. So for about 10 years now, my wife and I have had a side business where we've done some woodworking and metal fab. And during that time frame, we have done hours and hours of sanding. We started off originally with just your corded models. So this is a porter cable that I've owned for quite some time now. And this got the job done for the longest time. But when these brushless models started coming out, it became kind of a no brainer to go ahead and pick up one of these battery powered DeWalt ones considering all of my other battery operated tools are already on the 20 volt DeWalt lineup. We could tell right away after owning this, but we liked the, the grip on this a lot more than we did on this Porta cable. So you'll find across different brands that they've got different shapes to the tops. This Porta cable style is more of a circle and it's actually got a really comfortable grip to it. We start noticing our hand gets a little more fatigued on this one quicker than on this DeWalt. They really knocked it out of the park on this DeWalt one. We could easily sand for an hour or two, holding on to this, the vibration's very low. And on a five amp hour battery, I can go for quite a while. Now the one thing about a five amp hour versus like say a two amp hour is that does add some weight to this. It's got a pretty good balance to it. You do notice, especially if you're sitting on the edge of the wood, that battery does tend to counter down towards that side. My wife being that she has smaller hands, she tends to like the two amp hour battery just for the weight savings alone. It's a little easier for her to control. She doesn't get as much runtime out of it, but I've got a couple of these laying around too, so it's just a matter of her swapping a battery and throwing one on the charger when she's helping me out out here. So right next to your triggers where you can control your variable speed, you can really get this dialed in from the lowest speed being 8,000 RPM all the way up to 12,000 RPM on the high setting. I really feel like DeWalt did a good job of the dust collection on this as well. This little bag comes off pretty easily. It's got a spring on the inside of it to kind of help keep it shaped. It's extremely easy to clean out and it holds quite a bit of material. They sell an adapter for this. You can hook this up to a dust collection system on like an inch and a quarter hose as well, which I don't have any personal experience with, but the videos I've seen look like it's really nice other than the fact you have a hose hanging off the side of your sander. But for me, I really like the portability of this. Like any other tool when you're talking about battery versus corded, you can take this one pretty much anywhere you need it to be. Whereas, you know, the corded model, obviously you've got to be plugged into an outlet somewhere at some point. So we can take these out in the yard too if we decide we want to be out enjoying the weather while we're doing a project. The sanding disc that you use is the typical hook and loop style that most sanders have these days. There's quite a few options out there as to which pad and what grit size you want to use. One of the first things I noticed when I bought this was the rubberized grip on top. I was concerned that was going to wear out really quick after hours of use. But I've been really happy with after four years, it hasn't started to wear or tear at all. So to kind of sum this all up, the DeWalt Orbital Sander, I feel is probably one of the best that you can pick up on the market, at least of the ones that I've tried so far. It's really comfortable in your hand. It's got low vibration compared to the other brands that I've used. The battery life, especially when you're using a five amp hour, will run for quite a while. And the dust collection on this is about the best I've seen. So if you're looking for an upgrade to your shop or you don't have one already, check out this DeWalt one. I think it's really worth the investment when it comes to this model.